Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's a second initial value problem, and we start with a second order linear differential equation, and it is homogeneous. And here are two solutions, y1 and y2. First, we're going to show that those are indeed solutions to this differential equation. Then, of course, we can set up a linear combination of the two solutions, which means there's an infinite number of these because c1 and c2 can take on any value. But then we're trying to find the exact value for C1 and C2 such that this equation will satisfy these initial conditions at y when x is equal to 0 and y prime when x is equal to 0. We then want to find that one singular solution. First, let's show that those are indeed solutions to the differential equation. Which means that if y1 is equal to e to the x, then y1 prime is equal to e to the x and y1 double prime is equal to e to the x. When we plug those into our equation, y double prime, we get e to the x minus 2 times e to the x plus e to the x. Is that indeed equal to 0? And the answer is yes. We have twice e to the x minus twice e to the x. That's indeed equal to 0. So that is indeed a solution. Taking y2 equal to x e to the x, then y2 prime is equal to, now we have a product here, so we take the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is just 1, and so this becomes the first derivative of the function. Then we can take the second derivative, y2 double prime, which is equal to, well we have this here, we take the derivative of that, that gives us x e to the x plus e to the x, and then we take the derivative of this part, which is plus e to the x. In essence, this gives us x e to the x plus twice e to the x. Now when we plug those back into the original equation, we have y double prime, which is that. We get x e to the x plus 2 e to the x. Then we have minus twice y prime, which is right here, so minus 2 times this, 2x e to the x, and minus 2 times this, which is 2 e to the x. And then we have plus y, which is this right here, plus x e to the x, and we want to know if that is equal to 0. Well, let's see here, we have 2 e to the x and minus 2 e to the x, so those cancel out. And we have an x e to the x plus an x e to the x minus twice x times e to the x. Those two will cancel out this one, and that adds up indeed to zero. So again, we can show that both of those solutions are indeed solutions to the differential equation. Now we're trying to find c1 and c2 for the one single solution that satisfies these two initial conditions. First, we need to evaluate the function at x equals zero, because that's equal to three. And we have this, this function right here, so we can say that y, when x is equal to 0, is equal to c1 e to the 0 plus c2 0 times e to the 0, and that must equal to 3. But notice the second term, since we have an x in there that went to 0, this whole term goes to 0, and we end up with c1 e to the 0 is simply 1 is equal to 3. And that already gives us the first value, c1 equals to 3. Now we're going to use the second initial condition, y prime at x equals 0 equals 1. So we need to find y prime, and if y is equal to that, y prime, well, let's find y prime first, is equal to c1 e to the x, that doesn't change, plus c2 times and x times e to the x, as we found right here, we got it here somewhere, uh, that here, right here is x e to the x plus e to the x. So that's the first derivative of this portion right here. Okay, so that's y prime, and now we can evaluate y prime at x equals zero. So y prime is equal to, oh, not equal to, at x equals zero at x equals 0 is going to be equal to 1, I believe. Yes, 1, which is equal to 
C1, which you already know is 3, times e to the 0, plus C2 times, well, x is going to be 0, 0 here, times e to the 0, plus e to the 0. This part, of course, becomes 0, so that disappears. We have 1 equals 3 times 1, plus C2 times 1. So let's write that over here. So the equation becomes 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus C2 times 0 plus 1. So you can see where it all came from. All right, so simplifying that, we get 1 equals 3 plus C2, or C2 is equal to minus 2. Now we have C1 and we have C2, when we plug in those two values for our two constants, we now know that our single solution, y, is equal to C1, which is 3, e to the x, minus, because C2 is minus 2, x times e to the x. And that's our one single solution that satisfies both of the initial conditions. And that's how we find the exact solution with the initial condition of y evaluated x equals 0 equals 3, and y prime at x equals 0 is equal to 1. That's how it's done.